Hi everyone. So what I'm doing in this video is I'm basically practicing my abstract artwork. I'll be working with mixed media. So in this one particularly, I'll be using watercolor and acrylic paints. Now the acrylic paints I'm using are literally just cheap. Oh, what do you call them? Like the cheap uh, craft paints that you can get from your local craft store. Um, these ones I'm using are actually really, really good. They're quite highly pigmented, but I'll be using uh, like a muted tone in this piece. So what this is all about, I'm going to explain it, is I'll be trying to work in my journal every day. Now, I'm not putting that kind of pressure on myself. I'm not going to like stress about it if I miss a day. But um, what I want to be doing is painting, obviously, how I feel um, when I'm out in nature. So my nature journaling will mostly be abstract, although I do really want to work on my uh, realistic sort of drawings as well, but that will come in time. This I'm practicing how I, painting how I feel. So I decided just to go in my shed, sit down, open the page, don't be overwhelmed, pick out colors that speak to me, uh, both in my watercolors and in my acrylics and then just put them all out in front of me. Don't think about the camera and paint what I'm feeling. And then play as well, play with the paint, see how they mix. See how the acrylics and the watercolors mix together, both um, like the, uh, what you call it, the artist grade watercolors and the student grade, because they're, they're all different. They all mix differently. And it's about getting to know your, yeah, particularly getting to know your, um, your craft supplies, because obviously when I go out, I want to know which ones to take with me. Now, here I'll, I'm, I'm applying um, acrylic paint. And again, they're quite muted tones, but warm colors as well. And what I find in this piece is that I, I'm working very, very, very intuitively. I'm sitting down in front of the colors, picking out the ones that speak to me the most. And then as I look at the piece, I think, okay, I, I listen to my intuition and it's really um, more about as well listening and growing in your intuition when it comes to art. So when I do go out and paint um, abstract or if I do make notes to take back with me, sit down, then I can paint what I feel. I can interpret what I've seen through my art or interpret with my art. So yeah, there's not really much else I can say about this other than I'm literally listening to my intuition and having fun at the same time. I'm trying to push aside stress and that feeling of having to perform in front of the camera and I am just painting literally how I feel and painting intuitively. And since doing this, I've been really, really happy with how my paintings have turned out. And then I think to myself, oh God, can I achieve that again? But I know that when I sit down and not get overwhelmed by the page and pull out all the colors, rather than get overwhelmed by the page, actually, this is quite a good tip, which has really helped me. I think of it as more as, oh, I can, put any color I want on this and then I pick up my favorite colors and then I start with those so so long as I get the ones that, that are speaking to me the most on the page down first it, it that gives me then a springboard and, I'm, and I don't feel overwhelmed or worried and also another thing which I will add is when I do mix colors and then I get some maybe some muddy colors um, which I do slightly later on in this piece it's okay, I leave it as it is. And in fact, I might find another brown to complement it or another color that pulls that color out. And I don't panic or I get my white acrylic paint or my white um, acrylic ink. And then I sort of add white to that to lighten that space and create more of a white space. And it is literally playing around that you can't make any mistakes because you can cover up your mistakes if you feel it's something you want to cover up. So it really is all about having fun with it and this is the way that I feel that you can find your niche um, so yeah so it's very very much abstract and at the end I do add a little bit of collage I can't get away from the collage I feel that once I've finished a painting I sit there and I think oh I need something else and then I go and I've got all these little tiny little bits of paper tempting me um, and I just can't seem to get away from adding some collage elements to my pieces 
Um, I have no idea if that will carry on or not. I don't know. I'm just going with it and we'll see where it takes me. So anyway, enjoy the rest of this video. If you do have any questions, just pop them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy. Bye.